thank you so much for joining me today for another video. So today I'm bringing you how I apply false lashes on my eyes. I have watched numerous tutorials on how to apply false lashes over the years and I think I've adapted it to a method that truly works for me and my eyes and I think I have some insight on eyes like mine. If you have eyes that are kind of similar to mine, you might find it useful. So if you want to see how I apply my false lashes and share my favorite lash glue in the whole entire world, then just keep on watching. Before we jump right into it though, if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. My name is Jane, also known as Breath of Beauty, and I am just so thrilled to see you here for the first time. And I do encourage you to join the Breath of Beauty family if you like what you see, because I know that you belong here, and I can just tell that we're gonna be good friends. But otherwise, if you are already a beauty fan member and you're coming back to hang out with me, thank you so much, I've missed you. And I really always, always appreciate your support and encouragement and just your kind words. All right, without further ado, let's jump right on ahead. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, I will be pulling out my brand new Eyelure Lux Mink Effect Lashes in the style Opulent. And this lash has been just my favorite along with another style called Baroque. And I really love that this line of lashes by Eyelure really gives you that beautiful, voluminous, and fluffy mink effect at the fraction of a price of a regular actual mink pair of lashes. I believe this ranges from like anywhere from 10 to $12, which is really affordable when you compare it to like anywhere from $25 to $50 lashes. So yes, this will be the pair of lashes that I will be using to demo today, and I'm just gonna go ahead and open these lashes. Okay, so this is what the lashes look like. They're very long and fluffy and beautiful, and it does come with a lash glue, which I don't use. I honestly wouldn't mind them like lowering the price of these lashes if they didn't just include this because I rarely use the lash glue that comes with the pair of lashes because I have my favorite already. Before I reveal to you what my favorite lash glue is, and chances are if you've been with me long enough, you already know what lash glue I'm talking about. What I'm gonna first do is make sure that these lashes are actually to the length that suits my eyes. And most of the time I do need to trim off like maybe a couple pieces off the outer end of the lash just so that you know it's not looking like droopy on my eyes and you'll see what I mean. So I just place the lash, the correct one keep in mind, and this makes it really easy because it labels the right and left lash. So the right one goes on the right eye and the left one goes on the left eye, but if you can't really like tell without the labeling, you can usually just hold it up with the lashes facing away from you. Whichever one's on the right or left, it's gonna be on the right or left eye. And I mentioned this because it is important for you to put the right lash on the correct correct eye. It might not look quite right if you get it wrong. So as I was saying, I'm taking the right lash and I'm putting it on my right eye right now. No glue at this point. And I just kind of measure out how long I want this lash to be. And as you can see, it hangs off like quite a bit. So I can trim up quite a bit and you want to make sure you trim your lash because if you don't you end up kind of having this droop effect your eyes look droopy and that is not what we want if anything we want to kind of lift it up and make it look like really alert and beautiful and everything lifting up instead of anything bringing your face downwards in a droopy motion which you don't want so looking here it looks like it can trim off maybe like a quarter inch or so but the key is you want to take it slow. You don't want to chop off like a whole bunch and realize you chopped off way too much, right? You can always chop more off, but you cannot gain it back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop off a tiny bit, maybe like an eighth of an inch. And make sure you're gentle in this process because you don't want to make your lash unravel and look a little odd and 
kind of ruin it. And this just basically starts the process of you measuring it on your eye, seeing if you need to chop off any more, and then you chop off more if needed. But doing it in little increments instead of doing it all in one go so that you make sure you're not chopping off way too much. So if you see now, I'm gonna measure for the final time because I feel like this is probably a good length and it looks like this is the length that I want to go with. I'm not gonna chop off any more because if I chop off more than this then it's not gonna give me the fluttery fullness that I want on the outer lash area. So basically I'm leaving it at this and I'm gonna go ahead and size up my left lash and I'll be right back. Okay so now I have both of my false lashes kind of measured out and trimmed up and now it's time to apply it onto my eyes and I do want to mention that currently I have my lashes curled and I have my mascara on. Now if it's difficult for you to get behind your lashes I'll just demonstrate what I mean by that you take your lash and what you want to do is you want to make sure it's on top of your natural lashes and if it's difficult for you to do this because you have your lashes curled and mascara on them then it might be better for you to curl it after you've applied your false lashes and maybe just put mascara on beforehand without curling it but if you don't have issues getting behind your natural lashes while you already have them curled then just make sure you have them curled and have mascara on your lashes already. And the reason why I like to put on mascara before I put on my false lashes is because I like to kind of blend it in and I don't usually like to put mascara on my false lashes and that's one way to make your false lashes last longer. If you don't put mascara on them and goop them all up, then you can use this as many times as you want until you know pretty much it breaks down. You're not necessarily actively kind of ruining the look of the lash with mascara every time you wear it. So that's why I like to put on mascara before putting on the false lashes and then all I need to do is kind of pinch my natural lash together with the false lash and just blend it together that way. So now I'll just demonstrate what I'm going to do and also reveal to you my favorite all-time lash glue and this is something that I can share with you because you can find this on Amazon despite it being a foreign product. This is the DUP eyelash fixer. It's basically just lash glue and it is a Japanese lash glue and you know one thing about a lot of Japanese cosmetics is they put a lot of emphasis on the lashes. The lashes really open up your eyes and the fluttery beautiful effect of lashes is something that I saw in Japan as a very common beauty trend. I can trust Japan to create good lash glue. Sure enough when I first tried this I usually have issues with lashes just lifting in the corners especially because my eyes are a little different and I have skin basically folding over itself on my eyes and that kind of makes it difficult for me to apply lashes and keep them on on my eyes but with this lash glue I don't have any issues with the inner or outer corner lifting as long as I make sure that the lash has good contact with my lid. So now taking this lash glue I'm gonna take wand out it's just like a brush tip and I'm gonna take my lash and apply a very thin layer of it. You really don't need to goop this up. What I do make sure to do is put on a little extra on the ends of the lashes where it tends to lift up. It just is for extra insurance. This is really all the glue that you need for this lash. You really don't need more than this. Any more than this, you're gonna have a really slippery, goopy mess on your eye. I'm now gonna take this lash, and so that you can see better, I'll use tweezers. You can either use your fingers to, you know, just kind of put the lash on your eye, or you can use tweezers. Whichever way just feels better to you is what I suggest you use. I will use tweezers for the sake of this video so that you can see what I'm doing better, so that my hand isn't covering what I'm trying to show you. So what I usually do is I take my mirror and I kind of face it um, 
kind of in the unattractive angle of my face kind of looking down like so and I take my lash and I plop it as close to the natural lash line as possible and then quickly before it dries out I secure the outer corner and then I secure the inner corner at this point after you've kind of secured it I like to just take my finger and gently press on the lash to make sure every part of the length of the lash line is adhered to my eye and then I like to just take my natural lashes and my false lashes and pinch it together like so and voila you have a lash on your eye and one thing that I also like to make sure that I do if my inner corner where there's no false lash attached if there is a visible gap of just no black then I like to take my eyeliner and fill in that gap to make it less stark of a contrast between where I do have false lashes and where I don't so this is what I do I just take a very sharp uh, just brush tip eyeliner and then I line the inner part of my eye and let it kind of dry out and now there's a continuous black line all across my eye instead of you know a little bit of skin showing and then the lash line starting that's kind of strange you know it doesn't make it look as good all right so now that we have the right eye done I'm gonna go ahead and show you again and just repeat the whole process on the left eye so I'll take that glue again and apply a thin layer again adding extra to the ends kind of hold on to the middle of the lash pop down on the middle of my eye closest to the lash line as possible secure the outer corner and then secure the inner corner again take your fingers and kind of push the lash against your lash line to make sure every part of the lash is adhered to your eye now pinch your natural lashes and your false lashes together to blend it a lot better and voila now at this point we are pretty much done but again as I mentioned earlier if you wanted to just apply mascara without curling it if you see a separation between your false lashes and your natural lashes kind of looking like that then make sure you take additional mascara and blend it together or if you don't want to ruin your false lashes with mascara you just take your lash curler and you curl your natural lashes together with the false lashes to blend it all together but for me as you can see from my side profile you can't really see the lashes going like this it's more so just kind of blending in like this I don't feel the need to further blend in my natural lashes with the false lashes but you guys you really really want to make sure that your natural lashes are blended in as best as possible to the false lashes it just looks a lot better when you make sure that your natural lashes are well blended into the false lashes all right you guys that is pretty much it for my take on how I like to apply false lashes again in the inner corners it gets to be a little tricky I always thought that you had to take the lash all the way to the inner corner where your eye basically starts and to the outer corner but if you do that with my eyes especially it starts to get really pokey and not very comfortable so in order to avoid that I basically start my lash by giving a little bit of space between the inner corner and wherever my eye starts to kind of fold I have just found ways that worked better for me and my eyes so that I can wear lashes in a very comfortable manner without any of the pokey stuff that I do not want to deal with <laughs> right so I guess that's pretty much it and with all of that said I do encourage you to join the breath of beauty family if you haven't already I really would love to have you be a part of our beautiful family because I really believe that you belong here but if you want to hang out with me a little longer I would appreciate that as well and you can do that right here Year. And as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to hang out with me today. And I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!